right, and that is what I got in today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you next week. Stay out of trouble. Stay safe. Take care. Bye. Bye. And done. Video is a wrap. Hello, could I get a six-piece chicken nugget uh, with barbecue sauce? Thank you. Here it is. Wow. All right, we're back home. Got my movies. Got my nuggets. There is nothing that can possibly ruin this moment. Hey, Alex, what's up? How's it going? Picked up, uh, oh, nice. You guys picked up a lot of movies, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'll be down if, uh, if you just give me one quick Arnold impression. Just, just a quick one. Come on, man. Just, just real quick. Just real quick. I, I gotta hear it. <laughs> All right, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, let me just finish up my nuggets first, and then I'll be right with you. No, these are my nuggets. Go get your own, okay? But I'll be with you in a few minutes, okay? All right, bye, bye. All right, all right, now where were we? Mm -hmm. What's going on? Not much, what's happening? Can you just do the, uh... <laughs> It's surprising to me that we've never spoken before. This is the first time we've ever spoken before, ever, like in person. We've been on YouTube for the same amount of time, I feel like. Yeah. yeah I watch all your videos, dude. They're, they're entertaining. Dude, you know, thank you so I much. I always appreciate editing, and because uh, I, I know how tough it is. And editing like videos, how hard it is just to sit there, like cut clips. And when I watch yours, like I see certain graphics, angles, and I sit there going like, God damn, like how, how does he take the time to like, yeah, guys, hold on, let me put this camera right here, because I know what goes on. It all looks smooth and everything when he watch it, but I'm sure when he film it, it's a fucking hassle, I can only imagine. The like comments and stuff like that, you know, that you like, watch my videos and stuff, legit, like it, it means a lot coming from you, brother. Oh, yeah. Stop looking at your fucking phone! I'm te- Fuck off. What is going on there? I'm texting someone real quick. Stop! What the fuck are you doing? I have to text someone. We're in the middle of this. Could you please stop? Hold on, let me finish it. Okay, is the fight about to break down? Yes, Do he's being annoying. Get the steel chair. We got, like, so many different movies today. I don't know why Mason got this, but- You told me to. Shrek the Third. Mason, what the f- Tell me this. Does he have the first two Shreks? Yep. Okay, okay. Whew. That was that was a close one there. And he also got Shrek too. Okay, there we go. All right, all right, there we go. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's called Cats. I really like it. It's a really good one. Oh, God. Mason, you screwed everything up. First you buy Shrek 3, and now this? <laughs> you should jump out the window. Jump. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, uh, what's, I, I can't do anything about this, uh, so I'm just gonna enjoy this. Keep going. Damn, well, that, that's pretty brutal, man. That's brutal. I think I lost. Uh, right, I'll call back. Why, hello, Alex. I can't talk right now, okay? We're doing something important. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that. Dirty Dale called us like four times for no reason. That Dirty Dale. He's very dirty. Do you like Dirty Dale? Let's get your opinion on this. I was taken back by the boys. I was watching it, I'm just like, I don't know how to react because I was like, it's like a game show voice. Hi, I'm dirty. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Fatal Attraction. That's a negative. I have never seen it. I've only grown up with Arnold movies, okay? Dude, there's not one Arnold movie in here. There is not one Arnold in there? No. What about Marky Mark? Yes. Yes. How do, how do you not have one Arnold?
This is ridiculous. He's never seen any Terminator movie before. Wait, 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 wait. He has never seen Terminator 1 or 2. No. Nope. We're done. We're done. All right. Hope you have a good one. Bye, uh, David. See you later. Uh, enjoy the Blu-rays. I do not blame you. Yeah. Actually uh, hangs up and never know. comes back. Uh, I'm out. Okay. Uh, that's it, guys. Uh, end the video. Take care. I will forgive you this time, but yes, Alex, show him the greatness, please. I will, I will. Alex, I just realized, I was just checking out your wardrobe going on, and of course you're wearing the Exorcist t-shirt with, uh, and what else do we got here? What, what's the, like, uh, I don't know, it looks like you're on a vacation. <laughs> I am on a vacation, bruh. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's true, you are on vacation. But look at that, though. I always admired your uh, your your fashion statement. <laughs> really? I've never heard that before. No. <laughs> Age of Adeline, underrated romance flick. Recommended by Alex. I'm not gay. That's not a bad one. I like it. Super bad. Oh, I haven't seen that one in a long time. But that is a classic, though. I remember seeing that the day before I went to college. Just a fun fact for you. I'll always remember that for some reason. Let's see if you can guess what it is by this. That's uh, Captain Phillips. Yeah, you got it. Legit, the best part about that movie is the ending. I remember reading comments how that was not even scripted at all. Like, it was just like Tom Hanks, just be stunned, you know, like that happened to you. And they actually had a real life paramedic just go through the steps and everything. And I'm just like... That works so well. Next up are Mason's only two DVDs. They're both recommendations by me. For, and next up is one of my favorite movies by my, uh, uh, one of my all-time favorite directors, Richard Linklater, and that is Waking Life. You sure that isn't for you? I have like three copies of this thing already. Of course you do. <laughs> Who, who buys three copies of the same movie? I you do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Next up, we got A Simple Plan, directed by Sam Raimi. The plot's really good. It's 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 very uh, underrated. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. I've I've, I've never seen that. You make me look bad now. Okay. <laughs> Don't feel bad if you haven't seen Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I mean, I I heard this one's actually really good because it's directed by uh, Sam Raimi. <laughs> Sam Raimi's a very, like, a director that has a lot of range. He's directed a great movie out of every genre there is. I love Sam Raimi. Spider-Man, it's it's my favorite superhero movie of all time. Me too, dude. I, I like oh it more than The Dark Knight. Up top, Alex. Finding Nemo. One of my favorite movies. Is it your favorite Pixar? My top three Pixar are tied. The original Toy Story, Nemo, then The Incredibles. Like, I like them all the same. Next up, we got another Richard Linklater movie, Bernie. You haven't seen this, right? No, I do not. Get on your link later, brother. <laughs> I'm the wrong person to be commenting on any of these pickups, Alex. And I'm sure you, like, you're figuring that out. You're like, God, I should have got someone else. Burn After Reading, directed by Joel and Ethan Cohen. You seen it? No, no, I have not. But uh, I think the cover. Buried, a movie with that it takes right. place entirely in a coffin. Yes! Winner! I have fa I've seen that. Yes, I've seen it. Ah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. What do you think? Um, yeah, it was all right. But we got Jane's. No, 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 it was pretty good. I liked it. Like for a movie to be in like one location, like how can you do that and be entertaining? And I actually liked the ending because the ending I thought was really good. Sin City, I have seen that one. Yes, I have. I actually, weirdly enough, I'm, I'm one of those rare people that actually prefers the other one. Really? Huh. Yeah. Eva Green. That's that's all I gotta say. Eva Green. Robert Rodriguez is a fantastic filmmaker, and then the style with colorization and black and white. I've always really enjoyed that style, and I've I've done that in videos like a while back, but I kind of stopped doing it after a while. But. I'm sure you picked up. Like I'm not very uh, in depth with um, how I explain movies. <laughs> I'm probably the most generic guy ever explain a movie like oh what'd you think i was like oh yeah i really liked it ted marky mark in the house mark Wahlberg should have won an oscar for that whole entire line that he had to remember all the names yes like who does that not many actors could do that but marky mark from the funky bunch with good vibrations he can do it damn it it follows good movie if you have a teenage uh kid like a daughter 
show it to her. <laughs> yes, you're right. Oh, that's funny. They will never do that. <laughs> gravity. Yeah. Yes. I love gravity. I like. I love it. It's it's one of my favorites. Top three movie of all time for me personally. Of all time. I love it that much. Yes, of all time. All I can say is like, definitely worth two bucks, but. I don't know, maybe not much more than that. No, I don't want to hear it, Alex, okay? If you got something negative, keep it to yourself. David, thank you so much for coming on here to chat with us for a little bit and, and see what we what we picked up and stuff like that, or what Mason picked up. Yeah, no problem. It's been a pleasure talking to you, brother. This was a fun, this was a blast, man. I've always wanted to do like some sort of collab with you, but I, I never like had many like ideas on like how to do it. Thank you, Alex and Mason, for even still watching my videos. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah. why, but uh, I appreciate it though, so thank you. Well, well, we love you, bro, <laughs> we all love you. Thank you, I love you guys too.